This is delicious. Ooh. What's up everybody? Welcome. Today, I'm gonna show you some viral TikTok advertising hacks. So you ever go to a restaurant or a fast food restaurant and you're like, ooh, that looks good on the menu. But then you get the food and it looks like, not like it. It looks like trash. Today, we're gonna experiment on some viral photography hacks um, advertisers use to make the food look delicious. So let's start with this one real quick, okay? These are just regular pancakes. This will be our test subject here. We're not gonna do anything to this one, okay? This is going to be our control subject, meaning this will be what the food actually looks like. And we're gonna modify this to look delicious. How do we do that? Cardboard cutouts. What they do is just insert it in between pancakes to make it look very plump, very thick, and it just looks more fulfilling and just more delicious that way. Does that look good? I mean, compared to this one, this one looks like more flat and less appetizing. But then if you go to this one, you're like, oh, this one actually looks good. I'm gonna eat at that restaurant because their pancakes look like this, but then they give you this. It's all fake. Just to prove my point, I'm gonna take pictures of it. And I'm gonna try to, I guess, replicate what advertisers would do. And uh, let's compare it, okay? Pancake A. Looks okay. It's not as appetizing, like I said. Pancake B. All right, you can see it's taller. It just looks like there's cardboard in the middle, I think. We're not done yet. What is a pancake without syrup? There we go. I mean, I guess it doesn't look that bad, honestly, right? But, of course, we gotta fake it. So what advertisers use they use motor oil because, I don't know, I guess it looks better on camera. Let's see if that actually looks good. Ready? Three, two, one. Ooh. I guess it's, it's, oh. Honestly, the drip looks nice compared to the thick um, maple syrup here. Oh! Dang, that looked good. All right, let's just move on to the next advertising hack, hey? Eh? The next hack we're gonna do is the chicken noodle soup hack. Let's say you have a can of chicken noodles and then you wanna advertise it to make it look very, app oh, that looks pretty appetizing already. Look at that. That is what you would see normally, but there's a way to make that better. There's this trick advertisers use to make that look more delicious. All you gotta do is fill the bottom of the bowl. So I have here some some candy containers, and then we're gonna fill some of the buttons, 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 just like that. Supposedly, if you pour it on top, it's gonna look plump. Like there's a lot of like, you know, pasta and other things in there. So let's see what it looks like. Just like that. So, this is the control subject. I mean, as you can see, everything kind of just sank down. So this is kind of like what it looks like. But then advertisers want you to make it like this. So they brainwash you to do all these little tricks to like, hey, we have a lot of chicken noodle soup. So this is what it's gonna look like when you pour it out of the can. The lies. The lies. Let me show you what the next one is. <laughs> So you know how restaurants have these like cool pictures in their fancy menus sometimes? Well, let me show you how it works. So we have here some creamy chicken noodle soup. So I'm gonna show you the regular way of how this looks like. So we got this, and all you gotta do is garnish it. Cilantro, tomatoes on top to make it look good. Wow, look at that. That looks good, right? Not really. Let me show you how to make it look dope. Here's what they do when they do this photography advertising hack. They take one of these, like a small bowl or something, put it in the middle of the bowl. Now, you can pour your soup, your creamy soup, just like this. Ooh. So it covers the top of the bottom of that, just like that. Now, you can add your garnish. Just put it on top of where that bowl was. Grab your tomato. Let's put it on top. That way it doesn't sink. Look at that. That looks like a restaurant menu. So this is the original. Okay. You see how the tomato sank down. All right. All right. I know what you're saying. You didn't add enough soup. All right. Whatever. Here. Soup guys are wondering. Now you can add the tomato. 
It's supposed to look like that. So this is the control, this is how it looks. And then, this is the photography advertisement hack. You see how the tomato is like stuck on top just like that? The live! You think this was crazy? Let me show you the next one. <laughs> Check this out, okay? We have some cereal. Hey, let me know in the comments. Do you pour your cereal first or your milk first? I do the cereal first, but for this purpose, to make this look good, we're gonna add the milk first, okay? So this is the regular cereal and milk. Pour some cereal on top, just like that. So this is what regular cereal looks like. But you know how it works. Advertising industry, gotta make everything look really good. So instead of milk, they actually use glue. We gotta add the glue. I mean, already like the glue just looks so good. Look at that. And now, just like that, the cereal just sits on top of the glue. Let me just spread it out a little bit. And then we could add the spoon. Look at that. That, compared to this, as an advertising point of view, you would want to get this cereal, all right? More than this one. This is like the bootleg cereal versus the real cereal. And you want that real cereal. Look at that. Look at that. Oh! I forgot to take photos. This is exhibit A. All right, it looks kind of flushed out. And this is not appealing, okay? Exhibit B. Dang, that looks good! I wanna eat that cereal. Let's go eat some cereal, shall we? Yum, yum, mm, nope. I will, did you subscribe? Hit the subscribe button. 65% of you are not subscribed, and that's so sad. Did you do it? Okay, I'll eat the cereal now. Psych! This is hot coffee. We're gonna place this one aside. This is just your normal coffee. Looks very plain. Let me show you how to make this coffee look fresh. Like, oh my gosh, this is the caffeine I need in the morning. This is what I wanna drink to keep me awake every single day. Let me show you. Take your dish soap. We're gonna just dish soap this water real quick. What you wanna do is mix it up until you see bubbles like that. So, you're gonna take what? Like a toothpick, uh, just something to scoop up the bubbles, just like this. All right, now we're just gonna transfer the bubbles right here. All right, make sure you use a Q-tip because I think Q-tips, oh yeah, look at that. All you need is like that nice bubbling at the corners to make this coffee look nice and fresh. Like, oh my gosh, that's some good fizz. Nice, just like that, okay. And then, when you take a picture of it, it looks more appealing than this plain, stale looking coffee. Don't believe me? Check this out, okay? That is coffee A, looking stale, nothing's happening. That's coffee B, it's like, dang, freshly brewed. I'm about to devour this coffee, even though it's dish soap, but you won't know that. See? You think this was crazy? Eh. Let me show you the next one. Oh. Parents, this one's for you, okay? You see these um, alcoholic drinks, all the beer advertisements. First of all, there's a way to make it look really cool. If you can see here, it just looks very normal, right? Like nothing is happening, okay? Take this, this is gonna be our normal, okay? We're not gonna do anything to that. But what advertisers do to make it look so good, they just add a pinch of salt, okay? That way, it looks like the like this alcoholic beverage is just like, yo, drink it. <laughs> so this, supposedly it's supposed to like go like that, I guess, and it's like, oh my gosh, this is delicious. Ooh, <laughs> I think I added too much salt. Okay, let's go back to this one. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. It's supposed to like fizz just a little bit. There you go. It's like, ooh, it just looks fresh, like. Look at that. Ooh, I think I put too much again. Nope, nope, nope. Ooh, look at that, kinda looks like a lava lamp. That kinda looks cool. See, you think that was cool? Let me show you the next one real quick. You see these pies? They look like regular pies, right? Well, there's a way to make it look nice. The normal way, you would see these pies sometimes. If you wanna add whipped cream to the pie, you just really just apply the whipped cream just like that. 
Looks nice, right? Looks pretty fresh. Let's see what happens in five minutes to the whipped cream. That's why they do this hack so they can take pictures of it for 24 hours. <laughs> Instead of whipped cream, they use shaving cream, okay? It just looks more plump, and that way it doesn't melt as it goes. See, it's kind of already melting. Here we go, let's try it out. Look at that, dude. It got to a point where it's just pointy. <laughs> Dang. That's that's dope. That is pretty fresh. And then if you look at the, the the regular one, it's already melted. Okay. It's not a good way to take photos, okay? This is I mean, honestly, this is all specifically for photography purposes. Like who cares if it doesn't taste good? The people don't know that, right? Here, let me just fix the regular one real quick. If you are the advertiser, you could honestly go like that if you want. Like we can make this look even nicer too if you want the pointy to go like even pointier. Look at that. Look at that pie. All right, might not look good from that side, but from this side, ooh, who wouldn't want to eat that pie, you know? Still don't believe me? Let me take a picture. The regular pie. You see, the whipped cream looks limp. And then if you take a picture of this, ooh! You see the whipped cream is all like blushes and like, you just want to like touch it and eat it. Oh, you think this wasn't good? Let me, let me show you the next one. We have here some chicken. Some rotisserie chicken. Yes, they even use the chicken as a victim to do these advertising hacks. Let's leave this one alone, okay? This is our regular rotisserie chicken. How do we make this chicken look good? This is kind of dumb, but I, I want to try it. They use balloons, okay? They stick the balloon literally inside the chicken right here, okay? Just like that. And then they blow into the balloon to make the chicken look juicy. Okay, here we go. This is the weirdest thing. I don't know if it worked. Honestly, it looks the same. I don't know about that one, but if you look at the other side, this chicken is giving some birth. If I remove it, chicken. It looks the same! It looks the, literally the same. I think we just need a big balloon, okay? Just shove it in here. That way. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. All right, kids, this is why you don't play with your food, okay? Here we go, you guys ready? Honestly, that hack doesn't work. Stay juicy.